Hello everybody, this is Johnny We're here with MDI. Today we're going to talk a little, a little bit about the Moza Air 2 iFocus wireless follow focus system. And the hand unit that you can buy together as a unit or you can buy them separately. It comes directly separately from the Moza Air, but it actually really works really well with the Moza Air, Air because the Moza Air have a little wheel that once you connect them together, it does a really beautiful job of follow focus for you. However, sometimes you want to use this in every other different equipment, uh, different gears available. So you really don't need to carry a gimbal all the time and do follow focus. What you can do is have this separate by the hand unit. Now you have a very reasonable price on the $300 wireless follow focus system. And they both have battery, charge, uh, battery in it, so you don't really have to worry about carrying another extended battery pack and so on, just like the Tilda Na uh, Nano. Uh, the price is a little bit higher than the Tilda Nano, but it will be the same functionality and it's very much a better competitive against each other. We're going to try to do a review later, compare those two. Let's uh, try this out on the GL5 and on the Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K. One thing I forgot that I uh, mentioned earlier is to be able to use this unit on any other uh, camera without using the gimbal, you're definitely going to need some time of quick release play with a rod system here like this. The Mata Air 2 has a really beautiful quick release plate that is very much, you can plug this into any Manfrotto tripods. And this is beautiful. This is actually exactly designed for you able to use with this. I'm hoping that Mota, Guts and Mota can be able to sell a couple of this by itself because this is something that a lot of people will be used, needed for. Otherwise, you just have to get a 50 millimeter rod system uh, that you can attach to, to your camera. And, but either that or you can use the Tilta Nano uh, base plate, which still works, but not as convenient as this for this size of the uh, receiver. So we are here with the iFocus in the hand unit system, wireless follow focus system. We have this attached to the G8 5 with a Makeup T2.2 Cine lens, which is a very affordable uh, $389 lens from uh, Micro Four Third system. So the first thing you do once you turn it on is you want to pair this with that. Uh, the, the eye focus, you go to the first, click the, the power button once to go to wireless menu and go to wireless. Click that one once, click pair to pair them up. When you do that, you should probably turn this off first and turn it back on. Okay, it's paired. So when does it done, go back to the menu, pressing this again. You press one more time, you go to function, and then you go to put in this part of the switch once to turn, go to the next, and then go to the next one. Then we're going to do a manual calibration. So when this is in one, you do make sure this is in a one stop, and then you change, the, you move the lens into the one stop also. When you get to the point, you then you press this again, press that way again, now go to the other end. So you had to do the hand unit and you can do it with lens. Both at the same time. Make sure the end point of each one. And then press it again, it's set. Okay, now that it is calibrated, you can now easily control by the but with the wheel. You can see how much you in the back there with the motor air. We're gonna go focus the front, back, front, extremely responsive. This is due to the fact it is using the internal battery, which is providing a very strong wattage to the receiver and transmitter. You feel it? All right, so we're back here with the Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K cameras. I actually said it right this time, second time in a row, which is kind of exciting. Uh, Scott is going to be very proud of me right now. Uh, we have the iFocus attached to his uh, Canon zoom lens, and we're actually using a little better rod uh, system because this way it, the, the rod doesn't move and you can have a better control of the focusing. So this is all paired up and ready to go. Uh, for information, the iFocus has 24 hours of battery life and this one has about the same amount, 24, 20 to 24 hours. So you got about a full day that you can use this follow focus system without, without really worrying about charging. And of course, if you want to charge them, you just have to get a USB to USB-C port uh, cable that you can charge both of them, it should be good to go. So I'm going to focus from the word little put all the way to the motor area in the back. 
There you go. On the shot. Yay, look at that. It's extremely responsive. We don't have to worry about um, the power wattage to go into that may be less responsive than this. What we're going to do now is to do a A and B set. Basically, what you just do is you press the mark button up for A, and then you go to B point and let it go. So now you have A and B set up. So the other cool thing about the iFocus hand unit kit, uh, to actually before I get to the point to turn off the A and B, you had to press the delete key for a couple of seconds, and then you will all turn it shut off. The cool part about this is you can actually pre-program three sets of uh, follow course focus settings that you can actually manually play back. So I'm going to try to do this. First thing to do is you're going to press, press the record button, hold it down for a few seconds until you see the little one change. You can use the dial to change to two or three. So that's where you change the settings uh, or the what, what custom mode you want to go for. One to set, double click to, to start flashing. That's mean it is a recording. So we are not everything in focus to focusing in Lilliput and then go to Morse error. And then double click again to stop recording. To play back, hold the play button for a couple seconds until you see the number one highlighted. And again, use the wheel, you can change the numbers. Once you pick out the right set of customs you want, double click the play button and watch the well, iFocus. It does have a little slight pause first before it starts playing it, because that will give you uh, the camera a timing enough to set, go set and get it going. It's actually a pretty cool idea to do sets. But overall, this is actually really cool. So either you can get this, or you get the, get the uh, Tiltan Nucleus Nano. Either one of, them, one of them will do the job for you. Now, if you really want to have a uh, feature where you can actually be able to do programming to, to do the, 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 the A and B set, then this is something you want to consider. This little part here in the back is actually is a little clamp that you can actually clamp to rods or anything you want to do. So that's it for now, and hopefully you enjoy this video.